Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and today is a birthday video! Oh, and I probably have to update it. Uh, I really don't play this as much here. So, I'm only gonna focus on tier 1 level plants here. I mean, the fun more. So, what's our goals for today? The Dark Ages don't seem to really appeal to me from what I recall. Well, the big thing here is that we, we gotta get to the far future as far as we can. It can either that or we go to the uh, uh, the west. I mean, and we can just dig up the walnuts though. But the walnut per se, it is also convenient. Shovel work doesn't count in this no sun from and sun producing plants. Besides, they are not sun producing plants. That is unless if they are, are sunflowers or sun shrooms or something similar. Instant recharge really doesn't. And interests me that much. We finished most of the pirate seas already. Eh? So what now? Oh, I guess we can go on to the far future. I mean, in a frostbite cave, it's lost city. In yeah, frostbite caves really don't excite me it's too much besides the stunion, but the stunion costs like. 20 me 5 stun, so I'm not planning on getting this done yet, so. Oh, however, the Lost Cities it really interests me here. First, since it has the Stalia. The Stalia here is actually this locked plant here, over here. Far Futures, in my eyes, is actually easier than the Lost City. Since, well, it's one uh, original. Well, first four worlds. Okay, so... Well, the EMP is gonna be really useful, especially in the modern day, since we will encounter... Uh, uh, machine plants, especially the Bull Rider. The Bull Rider zombie is technically a machine zombie. The Infinite's also useful, since, well, it can... And re not only regain health over time, and which will save some sun, but, but it can, in all, and literally create a, a force field if you have, if you put plant food on it, on all five lanes, in accordance to the lane it's on, of course. Mower launch, a eh, bit tricky, but I'll pass. I'm not gonna use a tile turn up since uh, it requires a lot of sun. Magnifying grass is obvious. We don't need na magnifying gr and grass. It requires like 50 sun to shoot very powerful st sun attacks here. So we're gonna go up to the infinite day 13. Let's go to <laughs> to level two, of course. So not a trip to the fair future. Okay, it's a good thing that I managed to get the shrinking violet. Puff shrooms also going to be useful. Iceberg glass is a stalling plant. Walnut, cheap potato mine though. Snapdragon though, but laser beans also cool. But Snapdragon is the, the traditional plant here since it's cheaper. I mean, with the shrinking valve, you can just spare, you can just constantly use them, um, and the zombies are always going to be weak. Just don't play too fast unless if you're. Type of person to have super fast reflexes and play extremely fast, of course. Prevalent potato mine was useful, but it's expensive. We're gonna need to deal as much damage with the lowest amount of sun. Hmm. Oh, I actually have an idea with the spiker rock here. 
let me upgrade it at first. Oh, and when you upgrade plants, they, they get cheaper, of course. I mean, in this run, boosted plants are also allowed. Leveling up plants are also allowed, too. I mean, you can just purchase on this... A lot of seed packets on the save perch, just insta buy a, all all of these upgrades, and then you can just easily win the game in, within like four hours or less, three or one through the four hours. I'm okay. I'm just gonna use the iceberg lettuce and puff shroom. This is a. a a rather uh, extremely uh. strong setup with Puff Shroom and Snapdragon combo. I'm not gonna play fast due to the amount of value and extra microseconds I can get it into this this, this level. And could play for like an hour or two. By the way, okay, so the, well, you can get like uh, around, on two rows of puff shrooms if you keep spamming, in these puff shrooms before they all start to, who, uh, die out. So, oh. you can uh, get. At least maximum 11 before this happens. Okay, so replace. Place a snapdragon here uh, because there's a bloody cone head here. I place an iceberg list to get some extra da damage. It's in time. I'm onto that zombie. I can always use the plant food, but I'm gonna only use it in dire situations. Okay, this zombie's actually gonna bypass our puff shroom defenses since it has a first field ability and. And the puff shrooms can't and even barely bypass this disp force field. So once that force field goes down, we're gonna need to freeze this dude here. There we go. And we're actually gonna experience a breach in the in the defenses here, so I'm gonna place more snapdragons. Just how powerful is this setup, really? I mean, uh, while the you know, recharge time for the Shrinking Violet is moderate, uh, it's still okay with recharges quick enough so that you can replant it again and on the next area uh, you want to plant here. See, it's already recharged. That's how useful the Shrinking Violet is going to be in this playthrough. Make sure to always stay at the up of the shrinking rod each time it freezes. You're gonna be fine. Does this work against gargantuars? I don't know, but you're gonna need to use plant food here. That's the really uh, huge con with this setup.
However, due to the fact that we have the shrinking rod, we can and and debuff the gargantuar stats in half. So gargantuars may not be a problem, though. Well, they'll just be bully zombies. These are bucket heads at at a minimum. Okay, I'm at my limit here. To be honest, it's literally the the end of of the well stage, so I decided to just do do it too, just to. We'll finish it off faster. The flying zombie is going to be tricky since we can't exactly stall them. And plus they move pretty quickly. The Coco Cannon is going to be effective here. And so the Spiker Rock is a bit of a meh. Yeah, and plus we can actually save a lot of sun due to the fact that we have a lot of puff shrooms. I mean we could sacrifice a lot more or but but we have cocoa cannons too. Let's rock. Sorry, I was impatient. <laughs> So far, future day three, we have have two triangles and two X's. <laughs> Imagine saying that at out of context. <laughs> two love triangles and also with two X's. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that would be a very very weird plot to actually go through. If I actually manage to save enough sun, I can actually get coconut cannon, which can function as a de facto cherry bomb. Whoops! I just pressed shrinking vial on impulse. I wonder how effective this strategy is. I mean, as long as you really you, you keep spamming these puff shrooms, you ooms and shrinking vines, you gotta be safe against, against all these normal zombies. Use own heads and bucket heads. This, I mean, it, it takes it, it really takes care of most of the zombies that you'll probably encounter. Bot swarm. Here's one uh, very funny weakness with these imps. They're small, so you can actually shrink them. <laughs> <laughs> the sound from the imps. Oh, they're really impy wimpies. Ouch. I could, could save a couple of bites from... On the puff shrooms <laughs> there. Okay. Hey Conehead here. You just become him stale. <laughs> Get stale, iceberg. <laughs> you look very frozen in time here, buddy. Jeez, I wonder how overpowered this puff shroom oh this puff shroom setup here is oh we we actually need two at least it's and that's it it now 
Oh, we can just focus on our other defenses. These are going to be our de facto Coco Cannons, in case if anything goes wrong. These are going to be de facto Cherry Bombs, that's what I meant to say there. There was a minor breach here, but it's all good and all. It's a fortunate thing to hear that these things can act as de facto walnuts that you can constantly replace. Let's get the blow over. It really blows me away <laughs> that, that, that some people still play this game. You know how sometimes suns are bombs? This is one of these times. Survive while sun bombs fall. Really, bl it blows me away <laughs> that we can actually still use the puff true. <laughs> what? I thought we weren't supposed to be using stuff like zero cost plants, and stuff would actually be broken here. I guess that only applies to stuff like last stand. Okay, same setup. Just gotta pay attention to the zombies. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if things go wrong and there's a sun bomb, just we can always just use them. But okay. Well, that was close. That was that a puff shroom was all almost about to get at in in the ability to fire that zombie up. I guess as as these puff shrooms just go puff and they, and they, and they insta kill a zombie. <laughs> okay, sun's su actually surprisingly arriving fast. That's third than usual. Guess it's because as as the developers as uh, not that the players are so used to having sun producing plants that they had to ramp up the use sun production from the sky. <laughs> okay. How is the sun and about how did the sun actually manage to get explosive? I assume it actually has to do with the atmosphere, the atmosphere or sun itself. I mean, sun, sunlight is technically energy. I think it. I think in whatever's up in the sky is making all these is sun combustible. Whoa! Oops. Okay, we completed our setup. We can continue to make more Coco Cannons if we need to. And we insta-kill hold that shield zombie. <laughs> yeah, shields ain't gonna shield you, oh guy. He's the only thing that can save you is so Dr. Zombos or, or even the zombie god himself. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, that was close, okay? Kaboom! Explosions can damage plants and zombies. Well, I actually know that. Good to remind me about it. Besides, I, I always for, forget that stuff. Stuff like my chores, of course. <laughs> Boom. No, 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 no. Boop, boop, boop. Wait a minute. What happened to the music? Oh, wait, it's silent. But then again, it might be copyright, so. Probably best to keep it silent before they steal my video. <laughs> I just had to do the fact that this area here is, is a bucket head. Okay, so. Hey, don't focus on commentary, Alexander. Focus. It's gonna increase the chances of victory. Just gonna stall that for a quick second. Okay, I just got I use up this plant food to collect more her plant food. Oh, we have oh my gosh, we have a lot of sun. How do we have this much sun? Anyone would call that a. Uh, very, very great big finish there. <laughs> really? <laughs> These levels are honestly easy. If we beat the easier ones, the harder ones are gonna be so much easier. Okay, I guess the developers fixed this glitch of, of actually planting something in, like right after you've beaten the level. Okay, it's a uh, unidentified flying brain. And knowledge is really up in the air. <laughs> Terror from Tatar tomorrow? Yeah, that's not our goal. Her, our goal is to beat this game. Amen. Well, out using sun from sun producing plants. Really? Okay, how organized is that a quantum area? Uh, there of your hers tear from tomorrow thing. How organized is that area? <laughs> Must be, yep. Yeah. M must be a cluster mess there. <laughs> and we have another machine to deal with. It's best we use lose a lot of firepower. Jeez, these levels are very eerie. 
here without music. My goodness. It's... I wonder if Shy Guy Mask still has a bit of a focus it's on PVZ vid. It's... I mean, I wonder if he's actually gonna watch these hourly long vids. These vids are are really he really taking a long time to make though. <laughs> and considering the fact that that, that this uh, phone is roasting inside and out, yeah. Uh. Hmm. Note to self, make sure you use the shrinking violet on groups of zombies. Is if it's not just one. Can't really wait to get the Stalia. It's gonna make these zombies extremely slow. Oh but we got at least uh, some firepower. Huh? Of course. Because otherwise, how else are we supposed to defeat them? I mean, we have lawnmowers, of course. Just make sure to defend your puff shrooms once in the event that at at they're getting assaulted hit by uh, the zombies. I have a weird question in my head. Is there such thing as a vegetarian zombie? Yeah, by logic it would be no but since these zombies can factually eat plants and mushrooms. Are there such thing as vegetarian zombies? I mean, if we, if we go by the definition of the mindless kind, that would be a probably, you know, but. Just gotta place a walnut out there since it's really breaching the defenses. Note to self, you gotta at least yes, yes, deal with the those machine guys very quickly. Jokes on, on you, I have, have snap dragons. They can snap you. Legit. And snap through your defenses, of course. <laughs> okay. Focus. Focus. Stay. Calm. I mean, we can all shovel up and are use walnuts. Hmm, we have two fronts to deal with. 
Let's freeze this guy. Okay. Stall over there. Yeah, this is not very full of proof, especially against a zombie like those machine dudes. But yeah, I'm gonna need to think of a, a way to deal with those those guys. I mean, I have an EMP, but what am I supposed to do with a gargantuar? Or, I know I can use plant food and stall, but I can't really do that forever. I can use a cheap insta-kill, insta like a primal potato mine. Oh, this level's gonna be sorta of tricky. <laughs> they just literally he chose it for you. Well, they just literally chose those my plants for me. <laughs> okay, so best plants are laser bean and and bong choy, but if we're in a cheap pickle, we can always use the a PP shooter. <laughs> I mean, we should have at least a laser bean in every very lane. Bong Choi's gonna have extra uh, punching power. Boink. I mean, I can always speed up, but in the event this happens, yeah, I'm gonna actually need to what? I'll slow down and think quick, of course, to get myself out of a specifically bad situation. I suppose bunk sh two bunk choice c could handle this. Give me a bunk choy. Yes. Okay, we have no way of stalling. So we're gonna need to sacrifice a couple of lawnmowers, or we should have. Uh, at least invested in pea shooters early on. Nah, I don't think we need the money from the lawnmowers any anyways. We can just uh, uh, sacrifice a couple of landmowers. We're just casually building up our setup here. Rest in peace. Yes. <laughs> You'll never be forgotten on lawnmowers. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna be a really, really tricky level. And due to the fact that these guys exist, I'm gonna need to have a laser beam at a lane. Okay, I'm gonna need to wait until all these guys are at the end, then I can and at least plant. I mean, this bunk choy can deal with the top lane, but uh, only if I t time it right, of course. Oh, that, that would have been the death of me <laughs> if it weren't for these plant food. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, bunk choice is actually going to be really useful here. Okay, this is a bit more a short term here, so, but then again. <laughs> And I should have used my plant food. There, that solves the problem. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna need more bunk choice, more walnuts, in order for army to actually get through this challenge here. 
One, two. That's gonna he heal you up. <laughs> yeah, rip symmetry here. That Bong Choi is definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> Which Bong Choi? Oh. Okay, so we have a Citron. And I see yeah, what you're sitting Hang on there, Citron. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I actually know what to do. Here. Like, on to the. Is I just gotta think quick, uh. Okay, this is actually a tricky. No way it isn't that actually easy. <laughs> yeah, these types of ads are just going to really bring you in. This is it's not the actual game in here of Township. Ugh. Wish these types of ads were actual levels though. Well, they would actually be really, really great indie games to actually play. Well, at least for a while until you get bored, of course. Bong Choi shouldn't really be underestimated, though. Oh, but then again... Meh. And we have the sna snap dragon. Let's snap these zombies to dust. Wait. But first, uh, Spiker Rock here. Walnut hasn't been really been that big of a, a use, so Spiker Rock can be a, re a really great investment. Citron's also good, but eh. We can manage without blowers. Casually slouching, playing video games. Yay! Okay, the strategy here is to uh, get your usual setup, but on the part of dealing with uh, the you know, the machine zombies here. Uh, you, I think we're gonna need to utilize stuff such as the potato mine and the spiker rock. I prefer long-term stuff since I really want to save sun. Of course, this is the no sun far. Sun from Sun Park. There's channel. Oops. Yeah. Any more oopsies is will actually be detrimental. I I can't just rely on my automations in here. I'm gonna need to look before I plant. Nope. Don't pause the recording. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, don't plant a cocoa cannon there. That's a waste. That's a waste. Oh my gosh. Jeez, I could have wasted it at my son there. It's a good thing that I looked before I planted it. Okay, now it's time to deal with these is flying dudes. Okay, what are they? What are they call in the almanac again? Bot swarm. You ain't gonna swarm me. I got my defenses up, and plus I have the shrinking vibe, so. Oh, have fun with all the microbes. <laughs> Oops. Oops. You'll have fun in Germany, of course. 
<laughs> Germany. Germ. Yeah, I don't think I really am that charismatic here, as I like to think. Dealing with... Eh, I, I am indeed dealing with two fronts here, so... Yeah, I'm actually sp eh, gonna try and at least spend some uh, sun here. Or wise. More wisely. Come on. Stall it for a second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get rid of this guy. Oh. Wouldn't it be terrifying to actually have a flying gargantua? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. That would be a really, really terrifying idea. Bot swarm. Oh, wait, and I'm out of platinum food. To store, of course. I, I always save the, this plant food, and when I, I have too much, I, I always spend it. it. Of course, in the harder levels, I don't think that's really a, a viable choice is to do. That should be enough damage on this guy. Okay, well that I killed that that guy off very quickly. <laughs> he, apparently, he, he, these zombies are so oh, dumb they can't and really he just walk around the lawn here. Or <laughs> they are really that one-sided. <laughs> although, well, that it, although the fact that that they could is. It's really un unfair if they he actually did <laughs> because then the he does he programmers of this game would actually have to reprogram it in a way that that it would actually still oh well, that these guys would still uh, attack these zombies. <laughs> Spiker rocks are a good investment, but only on on zombies. That are actually on the ground. Flying zombies can actually get all over these uh, areas here. Let's finish them off. There we go! We finished this day. Another day in the day of the life of a human. Of course. <laughs> Error brains not found. Please reload of uh, brains. Uh, 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 what do you mean by brains as in, in the internet? Or something? I don't know why you say brains instead of uh, please reload. Or, or something or just please reload. <laughs> Welcome back, Garnet. In this year, your brains were collected ages ago. Collect them again soon at Dr. Edgar Sambas. I mean, it is the far future. At this point, I would have been long, long dead by now. I.e. the player, of course. Okay, just wait until they come closest to you, and then you can plant. That's going to really maximize the value. 
Well, you animal plants that you have actually here. This is a flying zombie, and plus we have no long mowers, so... Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was actually close there. Okay. I just realized how much this is going to be a mess. <laughs> okay, so... I gotta fix this asymmetry here. It's going to be a bit of a trouble, although... <laughs> Citron's also a good investment, and oh my goodness. Look at all the damage, but it only deals damage to one zombie. I want splash damage, though. Something like a winter melon. Okay, I know we can actually instantly use this power toss, but only when and it's necessary. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, we are encountering... In, in these two lovely guys here that we're gonna need to take care of. I'm gonna need extra... A uh, uh, damage over here to take care of both of these guys. Guys, here actually. <coughs> I'm not actually gonna use the blower because that's actually gonna spawn more blowers rather than these babies here, these other seed packets. Bot swarm! I'm only gonna use them if necessary. Just gotta pay attention to whether some song he's managed to slip through, of course. No zombie's gonna, gonna slip past me, of course. Of course, but I do pay attention all the time. I definitely do. Oh. Uh, I have poor re I've had... I've literally had poor reflexes there. <laughs> Okay, these citron, the cons with the, the citron, like especially the, the uh, implant food boost there, is that, that it actually sp it stops at whatever machine plant that is in front of them. Oh look, we have three here, X tiles. <laughs> Feeling a bit green. So I decided I need to well, purposely place it there, of course. <laughs> totally did it on purpose. This is the perfect setup I need. Oh, that was close. This plant could have been eaten <laughs> alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're about to have even more plant food, okay. This attack is definitely massive. Oh my gosh, look, oh, if dead bodies were a thing in this game, and then this battle would have been ridden by corpses a long time ago. Oh my gosh, look at all this carnage. That was easy. And never had more than 50 plants. Eh, sort of problematic, but I think we can manage. Hmm. I'm gonna need to really think here. Since I'm gonna be limited to only 15.
Okay, I'm gonna actually look at the almanac to see the damage of Bong Choi and Spiker Rock here. Okay, damage 30. Bong Choi damage 20. Um. Okay. okay. So. Com so the Spiker Rock deals more damage, but is expensive. But this can 1v1 a normal zombie and is cheaper. Oh, as long as we have the Shrinking Violet, I hit and all other stalling plants, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. Let's rock! Okay, we gotta keep an eye on that head plant limit there because that's gonna be fine as soon if we don't really pay attention to it. Yeah, with this strategy, yeah, puff shrooms are still o overpowered. Or, uh, you just need to su apply the puff shrooms with other plants here. Yeah, since these levels are taking really too long here, yeah, I'm gonna need to speed things up. Oh, how convenient. It actually, it popped down. <laughs> huh? I wonder why these little guys actually popped out on to be honest. Are they just scared to be on the battlefield for too long? And after being on the battlefield, they instantly get PTSD, so, oh, they literally, they just suicide themselves. Okay, it's a good thing that uh, we can plant these, these guys, use these bunk choice, because, as if no, yeah, I won't be sure, sure about that. Okay. Gotta slow down at this point, otherwise it's, it's going to be really problematic to heck if things go instantly faster than usual. And I have little time to, of course, I need every single second, as I said, okay! Bot swarm. Too bad that a shrinking vial exists though. Oh wait, it's out. Never mind, it's not out. <laughs> Need to manage to get a single imp. <laughs> 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 wow, real. He, he, that imp was seriously not out of range, apparently. <laughs> Slow you for a split second. Okay, we have five left. We can't have no more than 15. <laughs> Stall for a bit and, and, and continue. Gotta take care of these bucket heads. They're gonna be a major detriment to our defense. 
Our setup is almost complete, but I don't want to necessarily butcher it. I know how much I like symmetry and fillings, but... And I also oh, don't want to fill up this counter here. I need to place insta-kill plans, like insta-insta-kill. Instantly type of thing. Okay. And <laughs> it's just one punch that's <laughs> hey, geez, these bong choice are one punch man's <laughs> And I instantly resurrected but at Puff Shroom. I wonder if that was a uh, wise choice to make. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, I wonder what I have done here. Have I done something great or something uh, bad? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Find a wave. And we actually can do a big finish this time. We just have to wait for the zombies to get close to us, of course. Which shouldn't take too long. And a second now. A second. And boom. And we got the AM Peach, which is going to be a really useful plant. Infinite's going to also be useful for the force field, so that's where we're going next. Okay. We have, we have our machine equivalent of the Disco Zombie. Yeah. Yeah. We can just, see, well, we can just use... Blowers, uh, we can also disable all them. And maybe it's, it's huge, which bunks some power, but uh, I'm considering using the spiker rock. Okay, how many yeah, it, yeah, minutes do we have to go through? I guess 15 more minutes. And just trying to rush out the beginning mainly because uh, it's really, really slow going through very slowly. Well, there's a chance that we might need Coco Cannons, and since they can really deal a lot of damage. Wait a minute. How much damage does Coco Cannons actually deal? Save and quit to the Almanac. Let's see here. Coco Cannons deal 950 damage? Well, that's insane. Oh my gosh. Cherry Bombs deal. Twice as much damage as you. And so, half, uh, basically half a cherry bomb.
Okay. So the strong. So currently, uh, her coconut candy is the strongest out of all the others here in terms of damage. Don't think anything that could that really come close to it, though. Finut, here we come. To infinity, of course. Uh, not literally, though, because otherwise this w video would take forever, of course. <laughs> okay, more zombies are actually coming. So, so I'm gonna need to slow down. Yeah, we are racking in, in a lot of sun here. <laughs> Enough for like two cocoa cannons. And <gasps> can we beat this game without spending any sun at all? I don't believe that's actually possible. <laughs> but that really sounds like a really, really stubborn challenge. Okay, we can actually deal with you just fine. We just need to constantly deal damage to you. Or lovely minions here. We can actually deal with your minions fairly quickly. Actually, we can just also do this. <laughs> You're all midgets now. <laughs> Okay, that's that's bad timing. And uh, that's also bad placement. Could place it in the middle. But that was too quick. I guess all missions can be both an advantage and a disadvantage. And the shrinking didn't happen mainly because the bucket had lost its bucket. Well, maybe you shouldn't have kicked the bucket. <laughs> really? Uh, okay, apparently the shrinking in violence rains extends as far as the sky. <laughs> How? I don't understand this game's logic. <laughs> I guess it exists for the sake of gameplay. Can't seem to get cl close enough due to the other backup dancer being there. Okay, I think we actually managed to hit it. 
Oh, we are actually making a dangerous combo. Oh, oh, Puff Shroom Bus. This Coco Cannon is really devastating. Time to finish them off. That, that was that was very quick. <laughs> All you need hit is three well placed his plant food tiles are uh, and you really it really you get a very dangerous combo. <laughs> Oh, and the sheep actually needs water. Well, you obviously can't really mix them. Since the water's gonna get dirty. And we showered the sheep. That's fantastic. Here. That was really a ton of bad, uh, badness from the bad pun. <laughs> Plan your defense. Plan your defense and defeat the zombies. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, I know I can't use the puff shrooms and um, even if we could, it's going to cost us 25 temporarily. So far, it's obviously not going to be used. Okay, so we're going to need to plan our defense against this very, very tough piece. We also have the advantage of using future plants. Probably future is good. Shrinking vine can still be used. Surprisingly, he has a shrinking vine. It's very, very useful. If it gets the de debuffed, uh, yeah, I'm going to be very, very sad. <laughs> hmm. Let's rock, okay? Yeah, so... Okay, okay. We can always push the zombies back. Wow, that costs a lot. Son, and... You, even if there's some zombies that... That actually... It can... P and push us back. We have snapdragons. All snap. I mean, primary piece is gonna be useless this without, without any. due to the fact that we have these shield zombies, so. Uh, and then they're actually useless in hordes upon hordes of zombies that I can potentially not handle, though. Hmm. What about coconut cannons? What if we have a cocoa cannon only set up? <laughs> oh, this is going to be ridiculous if we could. Maybe not. What? What? Let's rock. We have like six uses of the shrinking violin, and that's it. We only use coconut cannons when necessary. This is like, like those le those piracy levels where or you're gonna need to well, kill as much zombies as you can. Gotta use our plant food wisely, though. Mm -hmm. 
damage is really equivalent to the Ludic. A chair bomb here. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't ever do that again. Oh. <laughs> and then actually imagine the hit there. Oh wow, well, that is hilarious. Why, why am I not utilizing this? I should utilize this. I'm surprised that these imps aren't really getting a, a munch uh, out of these snapdragons here. Oh, snap. No, wait, I think we have five uses of this thing, and at this point, we, we can only use an EM Peach. Okay, surprisingly, barely any flying zombies gonna is actually getting through. We're patient. We're pa we're totally, totally patient. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's not gonna die. All right, okay, so. Okay, uh, okay, after this one, I think we're gonna I need to use some EM peach peaches, okay? Really don't want to tank a couple of little hits, though. Come on, we can do deal with this without using anything else like plant food. Come on, never mind. Oh man, well, that setup was a uh, at least one hundred, one thousand suns worth of shoveling. <laughs> I wonder if you can shovel, oh, oh, shovel a plant and get at all of your refunded sun back. Although that would really cost some money, and I'm a non-premium player, or since I'm a cheapo and I don't have a job yet. <laughs> And we have this dude here. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be a, a problem. It's gonna destroy my plants, my precious, precious plants. Okay, so oh, I don't need you. I need you. I can predict where they're going to next. Jeez, look at all the premium plants right after modern day. I'm pretty sure... Uh, and Popcap isn't gonna make any more worlds. Oops, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gu guaranteeing that at either two Coco Cannon shots, it's or a uh, potato mine's gonna take care of a Gargachoir. And plus EMP and Peach, but. Eat. Hmm, we're gonna actually gonna need the um, Peach here. Also, I'm gonna need to uh, mark the EM Peach as my fa a favorite here, mainly uh, because of its verse, its usefulness, potential usefulness here. As for the chill bean, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use you. You are not useful on machines. They don't fart. <laughs> I uh, hope this actually. Yeah. Hold up, I'm slouching. <laughs> Ooh, and we have a flying zombie immediately. Uh, I think this EMP surprising doesn't work on those guys. I can't be too sure though. Okay, I just realized why these no sun um, flower challenges are so <laughs> long. Um, because you don't have as much sun, as sun compared to your usual runs, you're gonna have less firepower. Less fire equates to less zombies. He's cool, of course. Oh, it's you. Time to shrink you, pesky little imps. Oh gosh. Okay, well, that was actually a poor decision of you. Her uh, uh, very, very destructive lasers. They are. Uh, 
you're a gargantuar. Poor, poor, poor. <laughs> it's a good thing that, had, and it's poor because otherwise, it's it's been sniped by now. Jeez, with all these easy levels, you have a, a lot of plant food on your arsenal. But with the later levels, you don't. That's the matchup difficulty. Okay, actually, a, a zombie cough while they're tiny here is actually creepy. <laughs> really sounds like they. They have acid reflux and the coronavirus at the same time. <laughs> cuff, cuff. I feel some pain on my throat. It feels very acidy, yet severe. <laughs> I bet that's what would probably happen. Whoa, nice shot. Oh my goodness, so much plant food, I, I actually need to use some to get some. And we instantly ki killed oh, that guy. That's great. Okay. Now to shrink these guys and finish them off. <laughs> yeah, the shrinking vine is actually useful. And and if you actually pair them up to ordinary plants. Uh, yeah. Uh, these levels are significantly easier. I mean, you can say that the shrinking vine is OP. But on its own, yeah, it just shrinks zombies. With ordinary plants, yeah, you... Yeah, you're definitely gonna have an OP setup. And oh shoot. Okay, we actually dealt with that surprisingly well. <laughs> okay, so next off, day 13, and we're actually going to be done. This is a really fun birthday session, despite the fact it's literally prior to my birthday. And we have these football dudes. Um, same. I guess we can do the same, same setup, but uh, but it's gonna require a lot of potato memeing and puff room shoveling. Yeah. <laughs> Even on this challenge, there's, it feels like there's really no difficulty curve at the beginning. beginning but once you go into the harder levels, yeah, it ain't going to be easy.
Also, the primal potato mine is potentially most useful here since it's a really cheaper version of the cherry bomb. You can actually use a de facto cherry bomb here, so. Oh, you can do a really good combo with a shrink of violet and potato mine in here. You just have a de facto oh, cherry bomb and a de facto imitator of said cherry bomb, of course. <laughs> This challenge doesn't really feel like a challenge if you don't really focus hard enough. Huh? The beginning of these levels are so easy, mainly bec because it really gives you time to set up. But on the extremely hard levels, was was yet. Are they giving little, you little to no time to set up? Oh, uh, waves kind of gonna go in instantly. You need to set up and up and try to uh, defend yourself at the same time. Double freeze! <laughs> Seems cool that we have the iceberg letters and puff room to be able to do this. <laughs> Luckily you're not that football all head guy. Because otherwise I would have freaked out. And I missed his 25 son, that's great. If you got if you do the constant strategy with shoveling up the shrink the shrink and violet in total is gonna actually cost you well, 25 here. Nice. That was easy to oh, oh, really we tackle <laughs> tackle Okay, these guys, little guys are going 
to die next. I can tell mainly because as their caps are growing grayer and grayer. Okay, Patelman's gonna clear that guy out really well. Okay, that is a lot of flying zombies. <laughs> it's, you know that this is not really gonna work if you got to try flying for me. This Snapdragon's gonna snap you. Oh my gosh. Two? Really? Do I have to deal with two? I guess I have no choice. Okay, that we just took care I got really well. Yeah, these football guys are surprisingly easy to deal with. And we've got to our goal! Hooray! Oh my gosh, we got the infinite! We got- I go to infinite and beyond. Oh my gosh, we are making sweet, sweet progress. Okay, so we also have the lost city. Jurassic Marsh. This. So we got the, the Primal Potato Mine. We also. Oh, now we don't need the Thymore Herb. That's why it's usefulness. It's, it's you know what? I'm going for a sneak peek here. I'm, I'm actually going to actively go on the Lost City. It day one here. No wait, day two here just to let's see if I can actually beat it. Sensors can move and come here. Maybe it's presents? Why would there be presents? The chances of that statement being true are true. No, are statistically irrelevant. I believe it's a new form of zombie threat. We should be cautious of unexpected guests. Okay, so we have the parachuter guy, and we are apparently forced to oh, pick the red stinger. That stings. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go for our usual sub miles to EM Peach. Coconut can is the most powerful here. Infinite, I really want to test this guy, you know, to see if it's useful. Red Stinger becomes a walnut in this area here, but at it, it's more pea shooter around here, and plus, there, there's red leaves here, so I got to pay attention to where I could get my son from. Okay. 
Okay, more parachute guys are on our way. This lane's taken care of due to the amount of red stingers here. I just have to use the, the infinite here, last stitch here, so that parachute guy won't get through. Got play things now slowly. All this poor red thing. <laughs> I bet. Pain really stings everywhere. <laughs> the amount of, of times I'm using the word sting in my puns is code red. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I like making puns. Rip Red Stinger. <laughs> we'll never forget you. Final wave. Yeah, we're gonna really ace this this world here. This strategy is really, really dominant here. I can always just use a plant on the infinite. Then it will create a really, really yeah, awesome force field. Which it were impenetrable. But if it were impenetrable, then in this wouldn't be a really... Does this count? Does this sun at the end here really count? I mean, the point of sun is to spend it. If you don't spend it, what's the point of having it? Well, I guess by that logic, I think we're gonna need to amend the rules here. If you grab extra sun at the end, as long as you don't, don't grab it, it does. As long as you don't grab sun at the end and spend it, it doesn't count. Good. Okay, I think it's fair that we end this video here. It's gone on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Goodbye.